What is up guys? What is up? Matt from MD Aquatics here doing an update on the Nouveau Fusion 20 gallon. Um, we've had a few changes here going on. Um, all good. As you can see in the video here, the main changes I've got going on are to the scape. Uh, I really wasn't happy with the scape as I had it before, so I decided to do some changes. I wanted to go with kind of a rock wall type of look with some shells and float it a little bit to uh, keep it clean and uh, while this was all going on I got actually got a shipment of coral in um, two two zoa frags uh, this is it in the box here and I totally had forgotten about it and wasn't expecting it so it was nice to uh, to get this these are this is going to be a uh, a grim reaper and a mambo jumbo frag and they came in uh, out of Red Hook New York they're uh, from a guy named Michael Olson with Hook Down Aquatics I'll link them down in the description below but I was uh, super stoked when I got this package. I could not have been more impressed with how well it was packaged. You know, I've received a lot of corals over the years and fish and whatever. And, you know, there's different levels of uh, proficiency that you see when you're unpacking corals. These were packed extremely well. Uh, so the box was packed well. Everything was super safe in there. And then they were bagged well on top of that. And, you know, the frags were locked in little cups so they couldn't get damaged. And these things, when they actually came to me, um, they were still happy. I mean, both uh, of these Zoa frags were completely open when I received them. I'll take a little shot of them later, but I just wanted to give a shout out to these guys for how how quick they came in and how well they came in. And um, I'll put a link in the description down below. But uh, getting back to the tank, we'll talk about the uh, couple other little changes that we have going on. So looking at the back of the tank here, there's not uh, a ton of changes at first look, but. Um, one thing I did do in the back is I replaced all the matrix with uh, marine pure. Those are spheres and gems in there. Um, the reason I did that is you can't fit tons of gems. Um, so if you mix them with the spheres, they fit in a lot better. And in that second compartment there, you'll see that's an in-tank fuge basket that I also packed with marine pure. Just trying to really beef up the, the bio. Um, and hopefully this will get it done. That stuff can really concentrate a lot of beneficial bacteria, so um, this should work out pretty well. And uh, anytime I'm in the back, I always just kind of check my wires and tubes and my ATO and everything. I got a little UV sterilizer in the back, and um, every once in a while I'll notice through working back there that I'll bump something. Like in this particular case, I bumped off the uh, temperature probe, so I had to go back in there and get that on. And, uh, of course, as I'm working back there, it's during the cycle when the UV light's on. I don't really like to mess with it too much during that time, but it is what it is. Um, skimmer in there is still the Bubble Magus Mini Q. I really, really love the skimmer. Um, kind of dialing it in a little bit still, but um, for the most part, it's skimming really well. Um, still have some micro bubbles, but... It's greatly reduced. I'm just super happy with it. It's such a good fit, as I've said before a bunch of times in my other video, and so easy to adjust and clean. As you can see there, it's already all set back up. And then uh, used to have a floss holder in that first compartment on the left. Now there's another media basket. That basket has floss on top with a bag of uh, Chemipure Blue and then some more Marine Pure Gems on the bottom. Oops, fell over there. Um, but, well, anytime I'm in there, I just take advantage of that time to go and replace some floss and get back after it. But those are all the big changes for the most part. Um, they don't seem that big, but at the end of the day, I think they're really going to help out a lot and uh, keep it so that the tank's filtration is always kicked into high gear and doing what it needs to do. Um, I think the bio will be huge, especially since I made such a major change to the rock work. And uh, I'm noticing it already with some diatoms, but that will get itself all cleared out. You can see a little bit of the diatoms in this quick little clip here where all the ganis live. There's 
there's four of them sitting here and one off to the left. Uh, my two favorites in the front with the my second two favorites behind and another really nice uh, Cave of Wonders Ghani uh, kind of off to the left out of view where you can't see it. But you'll see the flow still like maybe a little high compared to what most people probably put on their Ghanis. But uh, I've always had good luck with them uh, putting them in high flow areas and they open up really nice. Anytime uh, I uh, put them in lower flow areas they don't seem to open up as well. And here's a little shot at like one of the centerpiece portions of the tank. I'm hoping I can get to grow over this ledge really well. This is a black ring A can. Uh, I've been calling it the Hulk A can because as you can see, the colors are really just perfect for it. This guy is thriving. I mean, he's like twice the size uh, as when I got him as far as, you know, how happy he is and puffed out and everything and feeding really well and all that. Um, I will take advantage of this time to show the one other change I made to the tank. And you're not really going to see it in the video here, but the big change here is another light swap. I finally took my Kessel Tuna Blue and popped it onto my nano tank where it belongs, and it's doing really well there uh, in my office. But um, I really wasn't still sure what light I finally decided on for this tank, and it's been kind of a nightmare trying to decide. I'm torn between a few choices, but I needed to put something uh, with a little bit more power on it. Uh, in the meantime, so there's right now a Noop Psych Mini on there, and uh, the difference is pretty astounding, actually, considering the price and everything like that. So the, the Kessel A80 is, is a 15-watt light, which is pretty low, and, you know, it's kind of really based on, like, a, based around a 12x12 12 12 coverage, so like a, a small cube. Um, which is, you know, what's in the Nano, whereas the, the Noob Psych is a 60-watt light, like a lot, a lot more powerful. And because the tank is so small, um, I didn't really take that into consideration, and when I put it over the this tank, the ACANs were originally in the middle, and I absolutely nuked two of them. Um, killed one, which uh, I was pretty disappointed. I haven't done that in a long time and did a lot of damage to the one you see there in the second clip, but luckily uh, caught it in time and lowered the lights and um, everything's coming back really strong. But uh, I'll get this light situation sorted out soon enough. I'm just really undecided. I'm really torn right now between a couple different lights. I've been looking at the um, G15. I've been looking at a Hydra and uh, also looking at a max spec, and I really just don't know. I'm making a trip to the LFS tomorrow, so maybe I'll get that sorted out finally. Um, I just, I don't want to buy an expensive light right now on a smaller tank like this while I'm still so undecided, so I just got to get to it and make a decision and, and get that taken care of. But other than that, everything else is flowing along just fine. I'll do my best to keep you guys updated. Thanks for bearing with me. Um, through all these videos. As you can see, I don't script these videos in any way. I just talk to you like I would be talking to you if you're sitting in front of me. And uh, I hope some of you guys found this useful for people who run in similar sized tanks or have similar ideas or anything like that. I get so much value from the videos that I see on YouTube, so I like to share what I can on here myself. One other uh, quick update here that I totally forgot about. Um, so... Something that happened to keep an eye out for and not make the same mistake I did is when I was redoing the scape, I pre-built this whole scape, and uh, the old scape, when I was getting ready to swap them out, I lifted it out, and I put it in a tub, and I wasn't paying attention, and I should have thought better about this because I should have known it would happen, but in that rock that I lifted out and put in the dry tub um, was hiding my neon goby and both of my flaming prawn gobies. And the end result was that I killed them. So um, by the time I realized it, I went out, grabbed the old rock, found the fish. They were gone. So now I'm just left with my little guy here, the Talbots, that I still love. Um, but uh, I've learned my lesson. Nothing like that will happen again. Um, and I have a trip to the LFS tomorrow to pick up a fish I special ordered that I'm pretty excited about. And uh, that's about it. So don't make the same mistakes I did. And you know, learn from any of the choices that I've made so far. Um, but with that, I will leave you with just a quick look at the tank and uh, a couple of the new frags I got. And I uh, want to thank you guys a lot for tuning in. Uh, it always helps. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and uh, stop in on the next one. Appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you later.